But firstly, let's move on to about seven here this evening. Please welcome firstly into the red corner. Representing the fighter promotions gym, Troy 260 Matthews. <laughs> Heavyweight time again here at EBA Boxing's Battlefield. And there you have the size difference between the two men. Troy Matthews from Fighter Promotions Gym. Obviously the taller of the two men. Christopher Mallet, the hammer. With the huge fan following. The shorter, stockier of the two men. This man has sold over 100 tickets here tonight. And every single penny of that has gone to charity. He's been out of the ring for 12 years, making his comeback here tonight. And heavy, heavy hooks on Matthew's body as the big man tucks up. Looks calm and relaxed. A long, long layout by anyone's standards. But as you hear, 100 fans backing him here tonight. Light on his feet, nice movement. No signs of ring rust at the moment. Matthews looking to lure him on, then throw the jab. But the speed of Mallet, there for all to see. And it's those body shots as Matthews tucks up. 
Matthew stays calm, slips out the way of that left jab. Got to start his own offensive though, got to use those longer arms to keep his shorter opponent away. There's the corkscrew jab from Matthews. And you can see he's waiting for Mallet to initiate to counter, but what is catching him off guard is the speed with which Mallet does initiate. And then when he tucks up, Mallet works that body. Nice jab from Matthews there. Matthews now stalking his man. Nice and light for a big man on his toes. Tucks up though as Mallet comes forward, he's got to work more. Doubles up the jab on the right, but it's ineffective. Mallet moves out the way, takes that one on his gloves. Then looks to reply. Closes the gap quickly again. Matthews proving elusive for those headshots, but his body is open. And there he goes again to the body, Mallet pushes his man back. Clash there, acknowledged by Matthews. Oh, the left-left hook combination. Almost caught, Matthews unaware. Well, it's a lively start from Mallet. Fast and light on his toes for a heavyweight. Matthews a stiff jab, but not enough work for me. So the man in the blue corner, for me, quite comfortably takes that opening round despite the 12-year layoff. What we'll have to look at is how his stamina and cardio and conditioning continue over the next two rounds. So two of three, I've got Mallet taking the opening round comfortably. Matthews really will have to up his work rate here. More of a slip than anything else from Mallet. Matthews did catch him as he came in, but it's more of a slip which Clive Allison acknowledges. Now Matthews looking to come over the top of the left. He's got a good corkscrew jab. And he's obviously well schooled. He just needs to really up that work rate to match Mallet and make a real contest of this. And you can see Matthews looking to lure Mallet on. And obviously then catch him doubling up the impact. But what happens instead is Mallet closes the gap very quickly and gets those hooks to the body going. Now Matthews pushes forward. He looks for that stiff jab again. There he is waiting. It's a timing issue though. When he snaps the jab out, Matthews is accurate and it lands. Mallet are just a bit more wary here in the second now as Matthews starts to bring punches into combinations. But when he pushes forward, Mallet does it with conviction and speed and stays in the pocket against the taller man. So they touch gloves once more. Matthews having a better share of this round. Stopping Mallet pushing forward as frequently as he did in the first. Making him think more. Mallet leaps forward to throw the right hand. His nose is bleeding. I think there's a cut on the bridge of the nose between the eyes. And it's from that good left hand that Matthews does throw. And he has been livelier here in the second. And at least I feel him getting a share of it now. Brings the right hand over the top. He is the taller man. It's a good, it's a good shot for him. And I feel that Matthews did a much better job there in the second. And it'll be very interesting to see how both men now react in the third because I think Mallet's corner will be telling him that it's very close. Now I gave him the first round undeniably, but the second, Matthews for me at least got a share of. So if Mallet wants this big win in front of this huge travelling support. He's got to put in a big performance here in the third. So how will both men react to this third round? Mallet needs to get in quickly like he did in the first. 
Matthews just needs to keep the work rate up as his corner is telling him because he is accurate and powerful and there you go. He staggers Mallet. You knew he had the ability, you knew he had the potential. It's about the work rate. Mallet looks to his corner, breathes deeply. Matthews now with the bit between his teeth. You felt it was work rate with him. Oh, good left hand suddenly though from Mallet. Responds, almost lands with the right as well. Just when Matthews was getting ahead of steam up, Mallet lands the great shot to the side of the head. But now Matthews looking to step in more. You feel he's got the tools of the trade. It's just using them consistently. And when Mallet comes in, he landed a solid left and right. Now Mallet getting caught more on the way in, being punished more for having to close that gap. That's what a taller boxer should do. He should make you work every single time to get inside. And his job is to stop you doing that, so you've got to start all over again and he hits you once more. Matthews is just beginning to bring that into play in the third, but Mallet steps it up again. And each time that Matthews goes to sleep, Mallet gets inside. When he doesn't, Matthews punishes him. That's what this third round is all about. Mallet going for broke here now in the third. Intriguing back this one. Breathing heavily now, the man that's been out of the ring for 12 years. Here's where Matthews really should step on the gas. Throw the combinations. Don't sit there with your back to the ropes when it's this close. You're calling Mallet in. You're allowing him to come in when there's no need. Well, back and forward. A real clash of styles that worked in favour of the back. This is very intriguing now to see how the judges go. I thought Matthew stepped up to the plate early in the second, but he took his foot off the gas and then. How will that reflect in the judges' scorecards? Matthews. Mr. DJ, 